Hey everyone, welcome back to another Mattel Jurassic World review. Today we're taking a look at the new Dino Trackers Danger Pack Laphrosaurus. Ah, the Dino Trackers Danger Pack. What a pain in the butt it's been to find these figures. I've said it in all my videos reviewing these and the Strike Attack figures. It is really, really hard to find for some reason. Best Buy, Rite Aids are your two best options of finding these. I've been to a couple of Best Buys. I found every figure except for the uh, Nothosaurus. That's the only one I need from uh, this Danger Pack assortment. So yeah, if you're tracking those down, definitely hit up those two stores. So you got to hand it to Mattel for cranking out obscure species of dinosaurs. They're almost like Collect A, except they're, you know, obviously not as good. Uh, this is definitely a weird interpretation of a Laphrosaurus, but we'll get to that a little bit later. So let's just go over the package really quick. Dino Tracker's logo is down here, hidden mostly by the bubble weird placement on that. Uh, Beta and Blue, who cares? Jurassic World logo. Spinning around, you get a picture of the other figures in this set. I did have the Brachiosaurus in my hand the other day, but I really don't need another baby one and the elusive note the source hopefully one day i will find that figure so that will do it for the packaging let's crack this figure open and take a closer look and here is the alaphrosaurus ah the packaging you know just your bare bones basic dinosaur minimal paint apps which is pretty much expected from most figures in this line as far as accuracy you know alaphrosaurus had a very long neck it had very short forearms you can see the forearms on this figure are absolutely massive you know, the tail is too short but i do get mattel has to work within the size constraints of the packaging of these danger pack figures so that's not really bothering me too much the whole body is basically a aqua blue color you have some mustard yellow uh, splash along the side of the body and neck and the top of head is black with a white stripe so yeah very very minimal paint apps you do have some quills on top of the head um you know it's a very you know awesome broad out mattel dinosaur that we pretty much expect now you know we're not getting accurate dinosaurs uh from them you know they're just fun little toys so yeah it's always fun to add a new species to your collection now for some measurements this figure if you just put the head down a little bit is seven and a half inches long or 19 centimeters and about four inches tall to the top of the head or 10 centimeters so a laphrosaurus in real life was around 20 feet long or 6.2 meters. I'll put this figure in the 132 scale range. And now let's zoom in and take a look at some of the finer details on this figure, starting with that wild looking head. The top of the head is cast in black plastic. You do have a white stripe that runs past the eye. The eye is painted yellow with a black pupil. I've noticed on some of these new Dino Tracker figures, some of the eyes on these figures are very small. You used to big eyes on Mattel figures, and the printing is just okay on the eyes they really don't look that badly uh mismatched you can see a lot of fine scale detail all over the head and nostrils are right here big goofy teeth uh hanging off the top jaw bottom jaw is cast in white plastic some nice details along the lower jaw teeth are painted that off white color inside the mouth you do have the tongue and gums painted pink no color for the top of the mouth you have these large quills coming out at the back of the head you do have some large osteoderms uh, on the back of the neck and peppered throughout the entire body you know say what you say about the you know mediocre paint jobs on these figures they do have a lot of nice sculpted details too bad it's just not highlighted more by better paint apps you do have kind of like a dewlap hanging down on the neck going down to the arms uh they are quite oversized for an alaphrosaurus they usually uh, they should have much much smaller arms but like i said Mattel is going to awesome bro these guys out. And then going down to the back, you can see that bright yellow mustard stripe uh, going down the body. And right here is the scan code for those who want to scan it into the fax app. And then going down to the legs, you can see some nice large osteoderms peppered throughout the entire legs. The hand and toe claws are not painted in. Pretty typical of every, almost every Mattel figure except for the Hammond collection. And then going down to the tail, some more nice details. You have a little row of spikes popping up here and there. So yeah. All around a very very nicely detailed figure that is just you know below average painted now for articulation articulation is pretty standard let's get the camera to focus in on that first the mouth can open up that far close completely flush do have neck articulation can go down that far up that far and it can rotate 360 degrees arms move forwards and backwards Hind legs, uh, they do not have the hip pivot. You can move back, uh, forwards and backwards. There's that little lock and point to keep it in a neutral position and the completely pointless 
tail rotation. So yeah, articulation is pretty basic. Moving on with comparisons, first up here it is with the Cayman Collection Robert Muldoon. And next up here it is with its Danger Pack Wave Mate, the Austro Raptor. And let's do another Raptor. Always gonna do a Velociraptor comparison. Here it is with the Cayman Collection JP3 Male Raptor. And here it is with some Strike Attack figures. Here it is with Daphosaurus and here it is with Herrerasaurus, which I still think is one of the best figures in Dino Trackers currently. Let's do some more Dino Trackers. Here it is with Dryptosaurus. My Dryptosaurus absolutely hates, hates standing. And here it is with, we activate its roaring feature. Uh, here it is with Sino Tyrannus. And here it is with the Dino Escape. Carcharodontosaurus, someone pointed out to me that the Elaphrosaurus kind of looks like a downsized mini version of this dinosaur. I do see some of the similarities. They share pretty much the same body plan and very, very similar color schemes. And next up here it is with the Hammond Collection, Ceratosaurus, uh, Daphosaurus is from the late Jurassic of Tanzania and it did share a paleo environment with a uh, Similar species like Ceratosaurus. And here it is with a dinosaur. It did share its environment with Kentrosaurus. And lastly, here it is with the Hammond Collection T-Rex. So, final thoughts on the Elaphrosaurus. It's an okay figure. You know, it has lots of wonderful sculpted detail all over it. But it's hampered by, yet again, a very subpar paint scheme. Uh, I just wish Mattel put just a little bit more money in the budget. They even skimp in on the Hammond collection now. I mean, you saw the GP3 Raptor. It just does not look like a complete figure. Um, but hey, it is what it is. All we can do is just voice our concerns and see if Mattel pays attention, but they're big corporate, so probably not. But it's a new species, so most people will be looking for this figure. And like I said earlier in the review, the best bet right now is Best Buy and Rite Aid. Uh, hopefully Walmart and Target get these things in stock. I'm so tired of seeing Dominion figures. Uh, still sitting on the shelves, especially at Walmart. Uh, it's just, you know, it's an off movie year. There's no new media coming out. It's going to be a really tough uh, road ahead for us collectors trying to track uh, down everything. I can just feel it in my gut. So that will do it for the review. I do have some Beast of the Mesozoic production samples coming in. I should have those reviews up very early in the week. And there should be a surprise reveal from another company on the channel uh, by the end of the week also. So stay tuned for all that. And as always, if you're enjoying the content on this channel, show your support by hitting that subscription button just below the video. Each subscription helps out the channel tremendously and is greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys for the next one.